Hello everybody. Um, today I'm doing a guitar lesson for Beacon Light by Ween. For those of you who are not super familiar with this band's discography, this is not on any of their studio albums. It's not even on Shinola if you count that as a studio album. This is this was on the soundtrack for the X-Files movie, the one from the 90s. I forget what year it came out. 98, 99, something like that. Uh, somehow Ween got on to do this and man they really they really uh, put their all in this song i love this song and uh in terms of guitar playing oh man it's it's so much fun to play it's pretty simple the solo is great we'll get to that first i want to say uh part of what makes this fun to teach and what to, fun to play is that it's in standard tuning <laughs> don't have, there's no tape speed manipulation you play in standard tuning you're uh you're good to go right and the chords are simple and all that also there's lots of use of wah in this song and again I have a wah but I don't want to use it while I'm filming because I don't want to have to shift around and you know, turn on my wah and all that I just want to be able to you know face you so you can see what notes I'm playing and all that uh, so I, but I'll go over what the rhythm of the wah will be and all that I will be using a phaser and some like delay to sort of emulate the sound especially during the solo but uh, for now I'm doing a more straightforward just distorted tone <laughs> anyway let's talk about the chords so for the verse, I'll go into the rhythm and all that in a minute, but for the verse, the chords are A, F sharp major, D major, B major, and it's just that three times for the verse, all right? So, And then after that, we get into the chorus, which is D, A, G, E major, and then A, G, and then F sharp major, D, and then finally A. go back into the verse and then the only part that's really different rhythm wise is the outro which just kind of cycles after the third chorus so after uh, it just cycles back and forth between a mate a uh, could be a major a minor I don't think there's a lot of tonality it might just be like a power chord and F, F definitely F major does that over and over again for the outro right and I'll talk about sort of the rhythm of it now and how they play it live <clears throat> so I always played it like this at first with this is how the, the oh the a well that's the rhythm of the intro right just and the wah during that part and the wah throughout the uh the rhythm of the verse is just wow 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 right so if you were playing that with the wah and then the verses and stuff just The wah would just be going wow, 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 wow. Just th throughout all of that, right? Uh, it might even be throughout the whole song, really. Because it's just layered and all that with the synthesizers and whatnot. Anyway, that's, that's pretty much all you need to know for the wah and the rhythm of it. But uh, what I see him doing live is all bar chords, where he does this kind of thing. Alright, so he does that kind of walk down, so... The sky. All right, and then he does the D. If you want to add, sometimes like later in the song and stuff, you want to add some more like uh, some high notes to the D, right? You want to add in some higher notes, especially if you if you're just the one guitar player in the band, or maybe if you got two guitar players, one can be playing the more basic chord D down here, or you can be playing a D up here on the uh, tenth fret, or be playing this, right? So. Be playing stuff like that, and or up here, or just just to add some of the higher notes, right? 
Uh, this is just what I'm saying. Anyway, so, you know. And then. You can be playing the B either, you can play it either here or up here. It really doesn't matter. Uh, and I'm not sure if he's doing this or not. There's definitely some bass fills going on, but in terms of the guitar, I, I like to throw in a fill like this every once in a while. You know, so that's just a... That's just... Sliding up. Just to add in a fill there, you know? Something like that. And then uh, with the chorus... play a bar chord then you can go down to the G again he can he, I think he sometimes especially when you see him live he likes to walk down of like I'm honestly not sure if he's doing those kind of walk downs there on the recording or not but uh, anyway uh, then you of course that another walk down Anyway, so that's pretty much all the rhythm parts, and now we just got the solo. So the solo, I'm only, so there's two solos, right? There's the, uh, there's the one that's halfway through the song, which starts, you know. And then there's the, uh, the one in the outro, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not teaching that outro guitar solo. Uh, it's not because I don't like it. Uh, though I will say I like the first one a lot better. The first, the first solo on the recorded version of this is one of my favorite guitar solos from Diener on in, on studio recording, I should say. Live, it's a different story. That's there's tons of great solos to pick from. Just in terms of <laughs> studio solos, is one of my favorites from Diener. But uh, the second one, the reason I'm not teaching it is because it's real just improvisy, and Diener kind of he goes for a lot of his uh, more uh, expected licks, you know, he kind of does, uh, he plays around with, like, tritones a lot, and, uh, you know, that's cool and all, but, you know, I don't really feel the need to teach that note for note, whereas this, the main solo, I feel, is really strong, and there's lots of really cool licks in it that I think you should know, uh, so yeah, and, you know, as long as you're familiar with your A minor, you really don't need to know the outro solo note for note on the recording. You can go for a lot of the sort of uh, more typical uh, A minor patterns, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm just move, fooling around. Anyway, the, uh, the solo. And again, the part underneath of this is just the verse, which is just the verse chord progression. <laughs> three times, all right? And then after that, you get into the last chorus and then the outro. All right, so the solo starts up here. All right, so that's... <laughs> a little overbend there, but it's uh, on the 17th fret of the B. Bend that up three times, full step. All right, and then bring it back down. Alright, sorry. Alright. Alright, and then tug it twice. Alright. And then on the second time, or the third time, he does that. All right, a little chromatic thing there. And then he does this. All right, so that's just uh, sliding down from, going down the, uh, what is that? The 16th fret of the G, of the D and A. 
sliding down to the ninth fret of the A. And then he does this. All right. Uh, he could also be doing this. It's the same notes, but that's just a sort of major, that's the root third and fifth of a uh, F sharp major chord. And that's just, you know, that's the individual notes. And so, so far we have. So you can go back and just make sure you got that part down, go sort of piece by piece with that. Then we have... All right, so this is just a D major sort of arpeggio here. So we're, we're in this uh, major shape, right, where it's uh, 12th, 11th, and 10th on the D, G, and B, respectively, and then we have the 10th on the E as well. All right, so it's... All right. Then, so three times. And then, pull off real quick on the on the twelfth to tenth on the B. Then slide down to the uh, ninth on the D. And then he does this little bluesy lick. He's doing some kind of bluesy lick there. Just some sort of variation of that. Any sort of variation of that, right? Anything like that. Then he does this. <laughs> so that's just uh, starting, up, starting on the 12th fret of the E. Hitting that twice. Alright, so. And then. Alright, so. Bending up a whole step there, ending up there on the uh, uh, 16th of the G and bending up a whole step. Hitting, bending up a whole step and then while holding that, hitting the uh, 17th on the B. You, know, you can't really see my fingers, but it's, you can use, you can use your ring finger and pinky if you want. All right, so. Then bring it back down. All right. Then he, he does this kind of repetitive lick. All right, so that's just a, he sort of, he works with this for a while, like a, a bar or two, I guess you would say. Um, you, can, you can hear the rhythm of a lot of this and how long he does these licks, uh, just by listening kind of closely to the uh, recording. But yeah, it's, it's uh, based here on the 17th to the 14th on the B string, right? So after this. Alright, so. Alright, so this. And then. Alright, so doing that a couple times. Alright, so just bending up, coming back down, and then picking and then hammering on. Just doing that a couple times. And then he just kind of picks it and then adds a little vibrato. Until eventually he uh... He eventually just keeps doing those two licks until the end of one of the bars he just bends up whole step and does the bending up and then hitting the uh, third above it again uh, bending up full step on that 17th fret of the B then hitting it 
the same on the E string. And then uh, coming back down. Then landing on that 14th fret of the B, so. Does that little lick, so that's just. Then he does. All right, so that's, <laughs> sorry. 14, uh, 17, down to 14. Then 17 to 14 again, one string lower. Then down to 16 to 14. And then hitting the 16 on the D there. And coming back to the 14th on the G, then doing this lick. All right, so that's just a. All right. You can, you can bend that up if you want. Uh, I'm not really sure what he's doing on the recording, but it's uh, you can do either, or you can just do. As long as you just bring it down the same, right? And then uh, you do you finish it off by going. <laughs> sorry. All right. Just doing three quick little bends there. Uh, sorry, four I think. Yep. And then you bring it back down. And you bring it back down to the fourteenth. And then go to, uh, what is that, uh, <laughs> 17th on the E. He sort of, he brings it up to about a whole step above. So about there, right, on the 17th of the E. And then I think he pulls it up just a little bit further at the very end, right? So it's like, so just, you know. So bring it up a whole step and then bend it just a little bit further, then bring it back down, right? So, and then, all right, so, and that's pretty much the end of the solo, but and then after that, during the uh, first bit of the chorus, so, you know, when it goes to the D chord, so don't you be late, that part, he's, uh, after you've ended up here, he bends back down and he does this. Something like that, right? So, all right, so that's 17 to 14 to 15 on the B and then 14 on the G. And then going back down with a little pull off. All right, so. All right, so slowly that's all right and then going to uh, an A uh, you can play that like this where it's those three notes or you can do it like a like more of a traditional uh, A bar chord shape uh, it's, so if you don't like that uh, but he is uh, I'm pretty sure I hear him playing a lick here so that's uh, <laughs> something like that and then going down to a G So you can play any of the notes in that, right? It's on this uh, D, G, and B on the 12th fret. And then when he goes to the E, I, I, he might be doing he might be doing this, but what I've really come to like to do is uh, is uh, uh, <laughs> let me refine that a little bit. So we're on the E, right? Uh, he goes that. <laughs> it's 
fun little lick. So that's starting up on the, the E shape right here, right? At the 12th, the, well, the, yeah, 12th fret and whatnot. So that's just, and then going off the E and B on the 12th fret, and then kind of sliding down from there. So like, so, and then ending up on this uh, E major uh, chord there, right? So that's, uh, and then, uh, well, that's where you ended up, but, uh, <laughs> Like I said, I'm not teaching the second solo. Uh, I hate to tease you like that, but you know what? I have faith in you. If you can learn the rest of the solo, you can you can probably fiddle your way around with the uh, the outro solo. Just rely on those sort of A minor licks, right? <laughs> Anyway, super fun song to play. Uh, I had to go in depth for that solo because I really love that solo. Again, one of my favorites on record of Deaners. And uh, this is just such a great song to play, man. Anyway, hope you got something out of it. I'm probably going to do Dr. Rock next. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and do the album version of that song solo. And uh, <laughs> I'll try and get that out when I can. See ya.